So customer experience, patient experience, help us with some definitions and how, how the clinic views PX and, and the evolution of PX at the clinic. Yeah, so PX really started on a national basis in 2006 with the release of HCAP. So that is our hospital consumer assessment of healthcare providers and systems. So that's the survey that is the basis for the metrics that are most important to the organization. And that was released in 2006. The story goes is that our former CEO, Dr. Toby Cosgrove, who was the first of his kind to set up a patient experience lead at a, at a global system like the Cleveland Clinic. He um, was at Harvard and talking about the Cleveland Clinic when a young woman put her hand up and said, you know, my father was thinking about having heart surgery, but he went to a system other than the Cleveland Clinic, even though you've been number one for many years, because we heard you don't have empathy. Do you have empathy, Dr. Mm. Cosgrove? And mm. that really took back. And he, you know, he thought about it and he looked at our results and he determined, you know, we have an opportunity here. What patients want most is to trust their healthcare provider and system. And to have trust, you have to have logic. You need to know what you're talking about. We do that really easily. You know, that's intrinsic. We're pretty smart doctors. We'll tell you. <laughs> we know it, right? Um, sure. But you also have to have that yeah. empathy. You have to care about me. And you have to have authenticity, right? You have to be real with me. Don't tell me any lies. Don't shade me. You know, give me, give me the truth. And we found that although we had some degree of authenticity and we had plenty of logic where we were failing was in the empathy. And so a number of different systems were developed in order to build empathy organizationally, to build that into the fabric of our culture. So it started really with communication training. Um, for everybody. It started also with renaming employees caregivers. How powerful is that? You're not just somebody who shows mm. up to work and punches a card. Now you are somebody who gives care every single day. And so the cultural changes that Dr. Cosgrove started have you know, really been part of our fabric now for many, many years. And that's the culture that we lean into every single day. Yeah, 